coral reefs at sea live some of the most dazzling shoals of tropical fish in all the ocean. Swishy, swishy. Dashing and flashing, they spun and swirled in great flurries of colour. Swishy, swishy. And then there was dot, dot, dot. Terry. Hello. Terry lived with his best friends, Scylla the crab and Steve the sea snail. Each and every day, the three friends would play games together. Dodge a dolphin, Scylla had a great sidestep, zigzag. Shark speed, Steve tried his best, zoom. And hide a fish. Nobody, you see, was better at hiding than Terry. Hey Terry, where are you? He <laughs> he. But no matter how many times Terry asked, the tropical fish did not want to play with him and his friends. Hide a fish is such a stupid game, said Long John. It's dull and boring, grunted Goldie. Terry, the dull fish, teased Dot. The fancy fish got Terry down in the sea dumps. Cheer up, Terry. You don't need them, said Steve. You can play with us, said Scylla. But Terry couldn't stop thinking about how he could become part of that dashing, flashing crew. Then, the next morning, Terry had a brilliant idea. He gathered as many bits and bobs as he could find. And with Scylla and Steve's help, and a lot of sticky seaweed, Terry became snuffy, snuffy, sticky, sticky, no peeping. Tropical! Hello, everybody! Just call me Tropical Terry, he bubbled. Terry was now the most dazzling tropical fish in all of Coral Reef City. Hi guys, said Terry casually. Wow, looking good, Terry, said Long John. Do you want to join us? asked Goldie. We're going to swim around in circles, grinned Dot. The new tropical Terry was so popular and soon he was far too busy flaunting and posing to play with Scylla and Steve. Swishy, swishy. Shimmery and shiny, Terry swirled around and around in circles. Swishy, swishy, until dot, dot, dot. Eddie the eel arrived in Coral Reef City with one thing on his mind, dinner. And he had a particular taste for big swishy tails and colorful tropical fish. But the tropical fish swam frantically, trying to escape. But Terry's decorations were slowing him down. His fins were heavy, his tail sluggish, and bubbles were getting in his eyes. Eddie, meanwhile, was getting closer and closer, his eyes narrowing, his jaws opening wider and wider. What could Terry do? Dodge him, Terry, yelled Scylla. Zigzag, zoom, quick, shark speed, shouted Steve. And as Terry swerved and dived, his decorations began to fall off. The fancy fin, the swishy tail. Suddenly, Terry knew just what to do. Hard a fish. Eddie peeped and peered, but he couldn't see Terry anywhere. Nobody, you see was better at hiding than Terry. Oh, fishy, fishy, where are you? So Eddie slithered off to find his dinner elsewhere. The coast was clear. Phew, gasped Terry. If it weren't for Scylla and Steve, I'd be Eddie's dinner by now. And he set off to find them. Scylla and Steve were so glad to see their friend back to his old self. Being tropical just wasn't for me, said Terry. Now, who wants a game of hide a fish? We do, said all the tropical fish. 
We want to learn how to hide just like you, Terry. So that's how Terry, Scylla, Steve, and all the tropical fish became friends. And guess what? Eddie the eel had to make do with sand sandwiches for the rest of his days. Oi fishies, where are you? He, he.